Performing arts organizations have been trying to figure out how they can perform without large groups gathering in theaters to watch. New at 630, Christine Sorensen shows us how some local groups are getting pretty creative and how you can go see them perform starting tonight. The show must go on, and it is outside, where coronavirus is much less transmittable. Pittsburgh Ballet Theater's new artistic director, Susan Jaffe, can't wait for the ballet to open in this open-air theater tonight. When the lights go on, um, I will probably start to, to cry, you know, because I, I have to say I have been so starved myself for live performing arts and I know a lot of people will feel very emotional as well. The 45 minute long performances will happen on this mobile stage set up in PBT's parking lot in the Strip. They're sharing it with the Pittsburgh Symphony, Opera and CLO. The ballet bought the stage for $700,000 and it's almost paid for with grants and donations. Jaffe was able to get around social distancing for the dancers. And luckily, we have many dancers in the company that like each other and live together or are married. Quantum Theater has also been using couples for streaming theater, and they've always used the outdoors. So while they postpone their show and Odyssey at Shenley Park until next summer, they created a sort of scavenger hunt there now. It's about a two mile walk and at each one a QR code that you will access with your phone um, gives you a little bit of the traditional Odyssey and quantum theater's adaptation. And starting tonight, City Theater presents a drive-in arts festival at Hazelwood Green with live comedy, jazz, magic, poetry, and more over the next several weeks. You'll sit in your car and watch the live performances on stage and on a big screen with sound through your radio like a drive-in movie. Leave it to artists to find creative ways to keep performing. We have links to all these shows at KDKA.com under links. I'm Christine Sorensen, KDKA News.